The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a situation in a simulated theatre environment in which an unanticipated difficult airway is encountered and the Difficult Airway Society Difficult Intubation Guideline is utilised. Thankfully, a can't intubate, can't oxygenate scenario is very rare, but all anaesthetists and anaesthetic assistants must be very familiar with the guideline in its entirety so that the process to follow is clear to everybody present in the event of an emergency. Okay, I'm going to give you some oxygen to breathe now. Take some big deep breaths and fill your lungs up for me. So, I don't attempt, uh, expect any issues uh, with this man's airway. Attempt one of laryngoscopy would be with a, a neck full blade and an HU, please. Uh, plan B would be a size 4 eye gel, and uh, we'll take it from there. Nice big deep breaths for me. I'm going to start giving you a painkiller and then some anaesthetic. It might look feel lightheaded at first. Easy to bank. Just give him another moment for muscle relaxing. Okay, let's have a look. Can I have some burpees? Yeah. It's not really improving things. Okay, um, let's have a look at the video scope, I think. I'll just bag him back. Make sure it's nice and deep. Maybe the relaxant's not working. Right. I'll take a bougie, actually, if we're using a video scope as well. Please. So for now, size four. Yep. That's great. Yes, that's a wee bit lower. Okay, let's try and get this high gel down. It's gone nicely. See if we can ventilate through there. I haven't seen much chest movement. No CO2 either. Okay, I'm going to try and bag in. We'll use a two handed technique. Could you squeeze the bag for me, please? I'm still no chest movement here. Any CO2? No. Okay, we're really desaturating. Okay, this is a can't intubate, can't oxygenate situation. Can I have a size 10 blade, a size 6 tube, and a bougie, please? I've lost just that stress. Thank you. Please. Got some 
CO2. Sounds trace coming back. That's better. The airway rescue trolley is designed to make it easier for you to do the right thing in an emergency and make it less likely that you'll forget your next step. It consists of four drawers that correspond to plans A, B, C and D according to the Difficult Airway Society guidance on unexpected difficult intubation. Plan A is endotracheal intubation, so drawer A contains a range of laryngoscope sizes and types, a range of tube sizes and accessories like ties and syringes for inflating your cuff and securing your tube. Plan B is typically the use of a second-generation supraglottic airway device. This is commonly an eye gel, but other brands are available, and you'll find those in the trolleys. Plan C is face mask ventilation to maintain oxygenation. So in the third drawer, you'll find a range of face masks, nasopharyngeal airways, oropharyngeal airways, and an ambu bag if you need to replace your circuit. If you do maintain oxygenation at this point, waking the patient up is an option, so Shigamidex is usually available in the airway rescue trolley as well, in plan B or C. If face mask ventilation is unsuccessful, then plan D is a surgical cricothyroidotomy. You will find a size 10 blade and a size 6 tube in the bottom drawer of the airway rescue trolley. A bougie is also necessary for this procedure, and that should be available at the side of the trolley, a range of gum elastic bougies and other stilettes are always on hand. After every use, the airway rescue trolley needs to be checked and restocked, and this process needs to be documented, as it's essential things are there in the event of an emergency.